morning, everyone. How are you today? Uh, today we're going to talk. Well, my name is Edgardo Gonzalez, and I've been uh, in the solar industry not too long, probably seven years. In six years in power, a great journey, and one of the biggest success I have, you know, in this uh, company that I have invited so many people. But I have I found about you know through the years that if you know how to invite people and how to talk to people, is when you're gonna have success and you will achieve success in recruiting. Recruiting is a very important part of this business uh, because as you know, we have five ways of making money. Uh, you know, we have a fifth one. There's nothing like power and nothing will be. I don't know there's a lot of companies trying to imitate what we're doing. And of course, when you're doing something great, a lot of people follow. But by the time they get even near near us, we're far away. Well, the importance of recruiting is about you know your mindset. Sometimes people come to me and they say, "Yeah, Ricardo, I don't have any success recruiting. Can you help me?" And sometimes the most simple things are the one that you have to get better at. So, for example, working always from an abundance mind not from scarcity so today we're going to cover different things and everything i do it is with the system and that's why we have the culture one system so you can learn and share with the people in your team okay <clears throat> so with that being said i'm going to share my screen <clears throat> First, let me share it here. Here we go. So the team building mastery recruiting like a winner. So how we do that? Well, first we're gonna show you different ways of perspective. Of course, there's always different ways that you can do things. Um, the most traditional way is when you talk to your 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 warm market, people that you know, people you know, or professionals in your circle. All right. Some people get to into into my business, and, and they they say, "No, I'm not going to touch the people that I know." That is a big mistake. How could you be? How could you be in a in a business like, for example, if you sell air conditioners? And when you come to this business, you got to go and talk to everyone that you know in that business. Everyone that, in, that you have installed, you want to either sell them, you want to offer your solar systems to them, or you want to try to recruit them, okay? Because this is people that already know you. This is people that trust in you. When you're in any kind of business, you're supposed to be an authority. An authority is, a, for example, a realtor or a roofer. That's a person that is an authority and people see you like that. So they will probably uh, uh, trust you that more than anybody else. So you definitely have to talk to those people. Of course, you got to talk to referrals, people that, you know, or your clients that you have sold anything or you have given any kind of business in the past. And of course, friends and family and friends of friends. Some people say, I don't want to talk to my family. I don't like that. And it's so sad if you don't talk to your to your cousin, and then when you go there, he either has solar panels or he, he is either in your business already, and you don't want that. That's really, really, that really sucks when you go to someone that you already know and they already in the business. At least let them know with that 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 means that you're gonna rely on that people only know. But at least you have to tell them and let them know that you are selling solar systems and that you can help them as well. <laughs> and, and of course, family and relatives, that's, that's the way you need to let everybody know. I meet a lot of people that they tell me, I don't have Facebook, come on. And I understand if you don't wanna be on Facebook because you know, some people say, I don't like gossip. Well, who, who told you that Facebook has to do anything with gossip? Facebook is a, is, a, is a social, you know, tool that you can use. I love Facebook because I can see my family members, what they're doing. In the past, you needed to like send pictures or you need to call them. 
Now at least I need to be connected. I get to, I mean, to be connected with Facebook. Now, if you don't want to use it for family members, here, when you have a business like this, in this century, you need social media. And Facebook is a great tool. At least have a page that you can use it to let the world know that you are in the business. I know many people in this business, like William Contreras, that they shout to the world, I am in solar, and they go great people like Farid de Alba, Julio Rivera, and many others. But if you don't let people know that you are selling solar, how do you pretend that they know that you're here and they find it? You know how many people I get on a weekly or monthly basis because they see my posts? So it's very important that you have a professional page. And if you guys need help on that, let us know. Okay, so another one is Instagram. I'm not, I haven't been in Instagram for so many years, but when I knew that it was so important, I started building a great page. And I even hired a company to work my social media with them. Now, of course, I'm using TikTok and I'm working very strong on building that social media. This is the modern way of communications. If you're not in social media, you're losing the battle. Now, what about LinkedIn? Lead Hero is a great company. And if you guys want to know more about it, let me know. and I'll connect with the right person. Now, LinkedIn is where professionals, uh, it's like uh, where professionals will look for jobs. So it is really cool because if you know how to interact with these people there, you can hire a lot of people. That's how Bobby Smith has, you know, has uh, recruited many, many people like Jonathan Brunasso and many others. So, and I've been working with LinkedIn lately and I have recruited several people already. It's great. So you really, really, really need to have Facebook, Instagram, I mean, YouTube too. It's so easy to open, to open a YouTube channel where you can post videos and things that you, that are really interesting and people will know about you. Seed Recruiter is a great tool too. Seed Recruiter is free. But if you want to put some money on it, I mean, I'm talking about probably $20, $20, $30, $40. You can post an ad that you're looking for solar uh, um, a consultants and a lot of people will click on that ad and you can have the chance of interviewing them. Now, once, so on the subject of today, once you get those prospect things, I'm going to show you how to talk, what kind of system you can use to get them engaged, okay? Now, it's very important that you get prepared first. How do you get prepared to talk to people that are interested in your business or people that just want to check what you're doing, okay? So the first thing you have to do is you got to work from an act, act from abundance and not scarcity. I know so many people in my business and other businesses that they come and go, oh, but I don't have any luck. And when I see them talking to people, they are just begging for the business. Hey, come on here. You got to join me. This is the best company. So I know you're uh, excited about power, but because how you cannot be excited about power? It's the best company out there, period. But sometimes you got to act like a business. So you know that when you go to, uh, for example, that when a company like Costco or, or Walmart, they're looking for, for, you know, they're offering jobs. When you go to their office, they don't beg for you to get in. You know, that they don't beg. They put an ad, you go there, you apply for it, and they interview you. That's acting from, not from scarcity, from abundance. They have the abundance so they are offering the job. Why they need to beg for you? They know there's hundreds of people looking for that job. So that's the way you need to talk to people when you want to get them in your business from the abundance. And let me show you how to do it. So for example, you have to have a lot of posture. Posture is instead of like, hey man, I got into the, so in the solar business, it's the best. I mean, there's a lot of money for you. You've got to get in. 
you start with the wrong foot. Why are you talking to people like that? That shows desperation. That shows that you're like in a multi-level company. That's how people, that's, that's what they've been seeing for the last 20 years. Oh, this is another opportunity. The first thing you have to do, never use the word opportunity. Never, ever use the word opportunity. Okay? Never. And of course, you got to feel like you're the one offering the blessings here. Okay? Again, acting from abundance. And the most important thing is never worry about the outcome. When you're selling anything, if you are always worrying, oh, this guy, I hope this guy buys from me. You always got to be positive and thinking that you're going to get things on your favor. But never, you know, be begging on the back. Some people crossing their fingers on the back. Oh, I hope this guy, you know, get into my business. That's the wrong way of showing up to people because people can smell that from miles away. All right. So the first thing you got to be is relaxed and you're going to practice your script. The first thing you do when you're going to do anything in life, you got to practice. You don't practice on stage. What is your stage? When you're on the phone with someone, when you're in front of people, that is your stage. So how can you keep control if you're just worried about the outcome? When you have something like this opportunity, like power, you have gold in your hands. And if you project yourself with, you know, with mindset and abundance, people will perceive it. When people perceive that you have secureness, that you're acting from abundance, they're going to receive your greatest vibrations. When people receive your greatest vibrations, they will listen to you and they will end up joining your team. Because at the end, this company has his, a history of creating, you know, abundance in a lot of people. In my team, I have created already two millionaires because I've got more and there's more on the way right now. So why would you think that you need to act from scarcity? So that is the most important thing I want to tell you up to now. Now, you got to keep control. Again, when you go to get a job and you go to an office, you don't get there asking questions. They'll ask the questions. Do you think you can get into an interview and you start opening the door, sit down? Okay, sir, so um, when am I going to have my vacations? How much are you going to pay me? No, buddy. When you get there, you shut up and they'll ask the questions. So you're going to run anything that you're doing like a business. The most important, I will, I will think that um, I attribute my success because I run power like I run my businesses in the past. If you run power or anything that you do like a business, it will work and it will give you results as a business, okay? So what the thing is that you keep control asking questions. When you ask questions, the other person doesn't have time to ask you questions. As a matter of fact, you're running like an interview. So let's say we're gonna do two examples today. One, if someone that you know already and someone that you don't know at all. Like if you post an ad in one of those places that I told you. So the law of attractions is do not oversell. Don't try to oversell because you will kill the you will kill your, your recruiting. People don't like that. Act like an entrepreneur and show your leadership. That's what they want to see. Most people want to be with leaders, people that know what they're doing, how they're handling this interview, how they're handling that. Do you think people want to work, work with desperate you know, uh, leaders? No. It's the same when in your personal life. Do you think women like to go out with desperate men? No, of course not. Well, the same in here, all right? It's your business. So posture and mindset will bring you to the top. Now, let's say you're going to talk to a friend, okay? You're going to talk to a friend or to a person that you don't know. 
So let's say I get, I post, I post an ad in, in, in ZipRecruiter or I post an ad in Facebook. It doesn't matter. When someone calls you, when you're the first, you call them that. First, you're going to do is you're going to confer their personal data. All right? Name, okay? But if you know them, you know already their name. You're not going to ask their name. But you guys say, hey, Peter, how are you, man? That like, You know that I'm in the solar industry right now. I mean, and we're having great success. We're having record after record months in our company. You can use things like, I mean, we even, we even, I mean, got to be like number 43rd fastest growing company in the US, United States among 32 million companies in the United States, private, private companies in the United States, we got to be the 43rd fastest growing one, all right? So I'm so excited I've been here. And uh, as I told you, I mean, we're looking for consultants. We need it. I mean, there, there's so much work to do here. So then, by the way, do you have any sales experience? Now let's talk if you don't know the person. Do you have any sales experience? Oh, yes. Well, yes, no. All right. Perfect. You want to know if they have sales experience. That doesn't mean that if they don't have sales experience, you want to know, you will know if they are good in the communications. All right. I have people that never sold anything in the past and they're making $300,000 a year in power. Can you imagine that? Because that's what you're here for. Because solar, selling solar is easier than selling anything, anything, okay? Anything else. Because in solar, you know that, that people already are paying something. The only thing you need to know is how to educate people, how to move their money from a wrong place to a good place. So that's pretty easy, isn't it? But you want to ask them if they have sales experience. Now, I ask them, do you have any basic computer experience? internet, social media, and from one to 10, what is your, you know, uh, uh, computer knowledge? At least you want to know if they know how to sell, send emails. Believe it or not, there's people that cannot do that. And you want to know with whom you're going to work. And you're going to write it down like if you were an interviewer in a company. Okay, great. All right, seven, prayer. Perfect. If they say two, you know that you're going to have a lot of work to do with that person. Okay. Now, how much money do you want to make? You want to know exactly with who you're going to work. One of the greatest things I like about this company is that like, I choose with who I want to work. I turn down many people all the time. Why? either because they're too cocky and they think they know everything, either because they're not the greatest fit for me. And that's wonderful when you can choose who you can work with. In the traditional models of businesses, you cannot do that. If you get into any selling position in a company, you got to work with whoever is there. you got to swallow your boss. you got to swallow the other employees, but not here. How cool is this business that you can work with whoever you feel great about it? So how much money you want to work? I mean, you want to know if that person wants to only make, you know, like $2,000 a month? Is that a person that you're looking for? Someone with that low goals? So you want to know if person or someone that says, oh, I want to make a million dollars a month. Come on, man. You know, you want to, so you can at least tell them, but you say, oh, I want to make, I mean, $200,000 this year. Great. Then this is what you have to do. So you want to know exactly how much money with who you're working, you're going to work, what kind of goals. If he's aligning, if he's aligned with your goals, people are going to align with what you want. Okay. Of course, what price are you willing to pay? I get a lot of people here that they come, um, and then at some point they tell me they're doing so many things, 
and, and no, but yeah, right now I'm taking a vacation and I'm going there and I'm doing this. Well, what kind of price are you willing to doorknock? You know that in this business, you don't, gotta, you don't have to doorknock forever or you may never have to doorknock. I have people that come from some industries that they already have a lot of customers. If you're a roofer, you probably don't have to door knock, or you're already door knocking, but, or if you sell things, you know, consumer goods to homeowners, you already have that pool list of people that are, it's a warm market, the people that you know. If you're a realtor, you probably know a lot of people that come by from you. So those kind of people, they don't have to door knock. But sometimes some people get in here and, and they're new, they're new in town, and they don't, they don't know a lot of people. Well, you want to know if they're willing to door knock. Because what's going to happen if three months go from now, they're going to say, hey, you know what? I'm not having any success. How many doors you knock today? So at least you want to know exactly what they want to do. And of course, if they don't want to do it, that's great. Then you got to look for other avenues. Okay? And we're going to talk about that. But you want to know exactly what price. Hey, so I know people that they say, oh yeah, I want to be the biggest here. I want to make a million dollars, but they're not willing to work on weekends. Or they are too busy doing other stuff, whatever it is, okay? So what is the price they're willing to pay? You want to you wanna commit, you want to see their commitment. How many hours a day you're willing to put in this? Because your time is very valuable. So if you want to work with people, you want to know, you want to work with people that wants to pay the price. So you want to know their availability. When you sign up someone, you know that that's your responsibility. That's a big responsibility. When I sign someone in my team, I want to know exactly how much time I need to give them. If they're going to work full time, I know that I got to devote it. You know, for the first three months, I got to be working with that person. You know. If he's full time, then I gotta be available for him too. So it's not always about him, but also about you. How much time you're gonna give them, right? At that point, when I interview them for the first time, it doesn't matter if it is a friend or if it is a, a, someone that I don't know. Let's say if it is a friend, I get a lot of people that call me. Hey, God, oh man, I mean, I see you're doing so, man. I, I want, I'm ready for that. I mean. Uh, and they start asking me questions. I stay in the basics. So whatever you don't see here right now in this in this screen, I don't cover it. If they ask me questions about what kind of panels you sell, I don't answer that. If they ask me questions about <laughs> technical questions, most people that ask you those questions, they are not successful. People that are too technical, they're not successful. We also remember that. They make you lose a lot of you know, time asking those technical questions. At the end, they're just wanna, you know, they're, they're complicated. I tell them, well, we're gonna cover that during your training. At the moment, I wanna know if you have sales experience. I wanna know if you're good in the computer, if you know how to send emails, if you know how to do this, do you, are you good in social media? So you run your show. Always show leadership. Run the show when you're interviewing people. In that way, you keep control. Because this training is for people that aren't even starting. So all my trainings are for people that they're in an advanced mode, but also if they're starting. If you're starting and you keep it simple, you don't have to worry about answering a lot of questions that you don't know. It's pretty simple. Hey, you have... You have all these questions you ask them and they answer them, okay? Of course, you can talk a little bit about power. Hey, so what I say is this, you know what? I make the, the basic speech I, I tell to people that call me on the first time, hey, we make from five to $15,000 per sale. We're the fastest growing company in renewable energy. We tell, I tell them about the, about the in 5,000, okay? all the achievements, all the, I mean, we're in more than 20 states and we have five ways 
of getting paid. That's it. Don't tell them more. Because when you tell them more, you're trying to sell yourself. And you don't want to show you're selling yourself. You've got to show excitement, but you want to show that you're professional and that you are looking for the right people. That is when the moment you say, you know what? To be fair with your time and mine, I'm going to send you a seven minute video. And I say seven because I have a seven minute video that I, ha I have shown it to probably 40 people you know, in the last year and all of them are eating my business. I mean, the only persons that have, that have seen the video and are not in is because they don't have the money. And if they don't have the money, that's okay. All right? Probably their priorities, and we're going to talk about that, are not there. Okay, so when you send the video, okay, you're going to tell them. If I send you a seven-minute video, can I call you in 10 to answer any questions or doubts that you might have? So that's very important because if you wait more than that, it's going to get cold. If they said, I don't have time to watch the video, number one, they're saying to you that they're not putting that into a priority. So why do you want to put them on the priority? But believe it or not, when it's a seven minute video, most people have the time. It used to be like a 40 minute video. Then people say, you know, 40 minutes, uh, I don't know. But even it's seven minutes, six minutes, they'll have the time. So the cool thing is that you can call them in 10 and immediately, hey, how are you? So let's go to the second interview. What to do before you send the video? You will tell, this is how I always say, hey, you know what, Peter? I think that you could be successful in a seller consultant. So to be fair with your time and hours, I am going to send you a video with a full presentation and you know explains everything. You don't want to explain power of the phone. You don't want to explain power to people, you know, because it's hard to understand all these, you know, little details on a conversation. Send the video, let do the heavy lifting for you. Don't do it yourself. And then when they watch the video, is when you're gonna ask them the following. Do not ask them. Do you like the video? Oh, which one is the video? There's many videos out there. There's great videos in English, uh, but this is the one that I've been sending in English and it works. By the way, I'm making a new one that is gonna be 14 minutes. It's already ready to go. I mean, I haven't made it, but it's ready. I have the script. This is more like a full spectrum, but this one, it is very, very short and precise and it goes to the point. This one has the four ways. And you got to explain, hey, with this video, there's four ways of making money. When, when I get back to you, I'm going to show you that we have a fifth, a new fifth way of making money. All right? So this video, we're going to have it available, but it's in Edgardo Gonzalez Solar in YouTube. It's easy to find. And it's the power solar presentation. But you want to show something, you know, um, pretty basic and in which they can easily see it and it's professional. I've been part of the fastest growing solar company in the United States. When I started, I knew nothing about solar. I've been able to grow more than All right, so as you see, it's professional and, and, and it has Spanish subtitles. For the people in Spanish here, we have it in Spanish as well, okay? So it's not a big. So once you send the video, okay, what you want to do, is to ask them, what did you like the most about the video? Do not ask them, did you like the video? Don't ask them that. Are uh, you may, I mean, you're here, no, you don't want to have their, um, how do you say, are you making a, a, how do you call it when you're calling people to know how they like things? No, you know that power is great. You don't want, you don't want to know. You never ask, I mean, ask questions of yes or no. 
what you do is you tell them, what did you like most about the video? So they think, oh, I like the passive income, or I like the money. I like uh, that I can uh, um, uh, mentor people. I love this and that. So you can start a conversation, especially when you're new in the business, you just wanna go ahead and straight so they can tell you something that you can keep talking about it. If they tell me, oh, I love the passive income, then you can say, great. Isn't it cool that you can make money while you're asleep and that you can help other people grow? So you wanna have a conversation to follow, to keep following the, the, the momentum. You wanna keep momentum in conversation. What about if you ask, do you like the video? No. <laughs> people are bad, man. People are mean. Don't, don't, don't give them opportunity to tell you, well, I don't know. And if you're new and somebody tells you, yes, then you got to keep thinking, what am I going to keep talking about? But if you ask them, what do you like about the video? And they say, the payment, the great payment, man. Oh, yeah, do you see? We make $7,000 average commission. Isn't it great? So then you have more conversations to talk to people about it. All right? Do you have any questions? You wanna, do you have any questions? Yes, no, what are your questions? Now, I'm gonna tell you something very important when you are new. So this training, as I say, is good for people that are brand new in the business. So let's say, oh man, but Ricardo, I don't know how to answer a lot of questions. Well, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna send them the video and you're gonna call your sponsor and tell them, hey, you know, Willie, I'm gonna have someone watch the video around three o'clock. Are you available around 3.15 to make a three-way call? This is, this never pat is out of fashion. I learned this more than 20 years ago. And it's been, it's always the best. I used to three, do three-way calls with Bobby Smith, with Charles Thompson, okay? And with, even with Jonathan Bott, we used to do three-way calls. That still works great. So what? do a three-way call do when you do a three-way call you're not only showing that prospect that this is a very easy business so he's gonna think oh this is cool i'll bring someone and someone talks for me like they're doing with me so that's number one they learn oh this is an easy business i can do it i can find the prospects and somebody's gonna talk for me that's the number one reason to do it. Number two, people like to hear from third parties. They know you already. They don't trust too much in you. That's how life is. They want to listen from somebody else. That's why you have to edify that person. So if you're going to talk to, for example, um, someone, and Judy is the one is going to be the is my mentor or my sponsor, what I do is I say, you know what, man? Um, watch the video. And I'm going to have Judy, my partner. Say partner, don't you sponsor, okay? My partner in business, he's going to be with me. Man, this person reminds me a lot of yourself. That person is all for the people. Uh, and he's been, of course, in the business longer than me. Anybody can understand that you're new at some point, and there's other people that are being longer than you. Never feel, you know, ashamed. Oh, they're going to think I'm new. Hey, everybody started at some point. So you're clear. And what you're doing when you talk like that, you be honest with them. I'm going to have my partner talking to you. I remember people that introduced me to other businesses, and right now, and they were new, and right now they're millionaires. 
Okay? And the same happened to me. At some points, I was new, and I used Bobby, and I used, I mean, uh, um, my sponsors. And now I'm doing great, but at the beginning, I didn't do anything. All right? So don't worry about that. Use your sponsor, and this is what you do. You prepare. The, now, don't throw a bomb to your sponsor and call them, hey, I have somebody in the, in the phone. No, no, no. You tell your sponsor, hey, I'm going to have a call at that time. Please be available. So when you get on the phone, you say, hey, I'm here with Bobby, my, 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 my partner, um, Bobby. Edify him a little bit. Say a little bit. Don't stay two hours talking about him, but at least 30 seconds of that conversation or one minute is edifying that person. That's on your favor because the person that he knows that that person that is going to talk to him is an authority. He's about authority. That person knows what he's doing. He's successful already, and he's the one that's going to tell me the business. Oh, that person is the only one that's going to talk to me about it. Great. Boom. Then you shut up. Do not talk at all until that other person. Normally, that person knows how to do a three-way call, right? What he's going to do is going to, hey, you watch the video. Great. What do you like most about the video? So in that, in that, in that moment, then that's the person, the, 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 your sponsor is the one that's going to ask these questions, okay? What do you like most about the video? Great. Okay. Do you have any questions or doubts? And that person is going to probably ask all the questions around. And um, he's going to talk a little bit more about the company. He's going to answer the questions. And then that person is going to say, well, man, it looks like you'll do it. You'll be a great fit here. I wish you the best. And then he'll supposed to leave in five minutes. And you stay closing him. How do you close him? Ask for the sale. Okay, my friend, if you have made any more questions, I'm going to send my registration link. What about it? Yes. Most people did not close the deals because they don't ask for the, for, for the closing. Okay? But let's say that person said, well, I'm not ready or whatever. No, no, no. Don't worry. That no is not for you. That no is for him. So you don't have to worry about that. But the most important thing is that you follow up. Do you know that most people don't follow up? And that's why they fail in business? Especially when you're recruiting, the second, third, or fourth follow-up are very important. So make sure you follow up because if you don't follow up, you know how many people I signed last night when I send them a text saying, hey, I know you're interested and probably you're busy. You told me you want to join my team, but you know what? Tomorrow, you have until tomorrow to pay 149 only. After Wednesday is going to be 185. And for everyone, it's going to be $85 a month from now on. But it's not the same paying 149 today than 189 85 tomorrow. So you don't understand that when you're in the business. But always use something to follow up. It doesn't matter. Okay. So if you have no more questions, I'll send you my registration link. You send it and you, when they get in, make an appointment to show them the platform and launch their business. Most people don't launch people's businesses. I know that sometimes that person don't answer the phone or whatever, but you got to launch their business. So let's keep going on what do you do? So in our team, what I, a lot of thousands of people have took advantage of our website, culture1.com. This system I use, I know it's great to make trainings, mass trainings. Some people have offices, that's great. This is extra. You don't have to leave your trainings. If you have an office and you do trainings, that's amazing, that's great. And we do trainings all the time online, I mean live, we rent hotels, we do a lot of stuff. And of course, now we know that when people get in, they're going to have access to our great trainings on Wednesdays. So what do you do? Of course, the first thing you do is you go 
in here. We have some access to people to get our training. Culture one, it's really easy. This is, I say, power 101 for dumbs. <laughs> you have the video on the step for success. Most people that are being employees or their life, they need guidance. So you put a video like this that show them the first steps they needed. It's a very short a big video of one minute or less where it show them exactly, most people do, what I have to do next. So if you're mass recruiting, like me right now, if you're mass recruiting, you wanna have a system that you don't have to be on top of people. You show them a system and they know what to do. If they go to here, they're gonna do exactly what they need to do is pretty step forward and you know what to do. Take the test and things like that. Pretty simple. You see, do you notice Diego's British accent? Okay. So now, if they see us, they say, man, if these guys can do the business, I'm going to make you. <laughs> All right. So another thing I show them It is, let me go back here. Well, this has a welcome. When they cover this text, oh, of course, onboarding training, Stellar Academy, I show them the need to take the training. It's very important you tell them what they need to do. And if you need to help them, tell them. Um, I bring them immediately into the chats. I know you could have a small chat with your people, but you, there's always like, for example, if you're in San Antonio, you have to be in the San Antonio chat with Eric Garcia. Even if you have a small one, that's okay, but you gotta have that one, okay? If you're in Dallas, you gotta be in the culture one one, and then you might have salaries one, that's okay. But remember, and that's, I cannot stress more importance on this. If you wanna get fast somewhere, go along. If you want to get far and make the millions, work with your team. That's where the money is. I don't remember no one that works alone that gets as far as the people that always work together as a team. Okay? It's very important. So put them and in the chat. And what is the purpose of Power Pioneers and the chat? Number one is to celebrate success. So you're going to bring them and welcome them, okay? There's going to be a lot of new ones, okay? I have like probably uh, 25 new ones that we're going to show their welcome soon, okay? Show them the welcome, you know? I mean, uh, uh, show them to everybody in your team. And of course, to show yourselves. Every time you sell, you should post them with them or with other people or your personal selves. Post them in every chat you have, you're in. Something positive goes to the universe when you show the things that you're doing moving forward. When you do anything that is for your success and it's bringing you money, when you show it to the world, it's positive. One thing you do, you never do, is to show people your failure. Do I'm saying it's bad to fail? No. When you talk about your failures and your problems, you're expanding them into the universe. And that's very important. You don't want to expand things into the universe. You know that I don't, I don't even tell my problems to my mother. I, I learned that in a book that you want to read. It's called The Vortex. You're in a vortex in life. Like, you know, like a, a, a tornado. When you talk bad about people, you're expulsed. Ex you're expelled from that vortex. When you talk bad about yourself, you're expelled from that vortex. When you don't believe in yourself, you're expelled from that vortex. When you give too many explanations, you're expelled from that vortex. You gotta have the ability to stay in the vortex. But one thing you learn in that book is that when you talk about your problems, you expand in your problems more. Like a wave, 
and they get the universe, receive them, and they get expanded more. And when you talk about your success, it's the same thing. You get expanded. You post yourself, they get expanded more. You post the people that you bring into the business, that get expanded. So the more you talk to the universe about your success, the more you're going to receive in return. Because life is a mirror. And when that mirror sees you succeeding, that's what you're going to receive more. So never expand your problems. Because at the end, people love to listen to your problems. You know why? Because they say, ah, he's as fat as me. <laughs> and you don't want that. People don't care about, you know, they're really... When you tell someone, the problem is that there's people that like you and it's people that, you know, they care about you, but they don't want you to be in a better position than them. So that's the reason you always talk about success and never expand your problems. Okay, so explain about the rules to use the chats, help them launch their solar business and how to sell the first three sales. When you sign someone into your business, you want to have them sell your first three sales immediately. Let's look for your people. Who we're going to sell to? Do you make your list? And I always like to talk about Maria Salazar because um, that's a person that people that are in this business know that how many sales she has. And one thing she do before 12 o'clock in the morning is she makes 50 calls before noon. 50 calls before noon. Either people for her business or people to sell solar, okay? So write down a list of people and start making those calls. That's where your contacts are gonna come from, okay? So one of the things people don't know when they start is how are they gonna to talk to people? For that, you're gonna go in solar team one, I mean, solar, in culture one, you can find this video Oh, this is not what it is. Sorry. <laughs> so, what? So, <laughs> this is not it. So, how to get appointments? Well, they'll be working on this. Skip the ad. It was show you. So, Marco said um, it was an ad. it was an ad. It was gonna play. Oh, you had to skip. You had to skip the ad. There we go. No, so this is not let's go back and today we will show you how to be attractive this is the old video okay so anyways it's good it's very it's pretty it's actually pretty um it works and today we will show you how to be attractive making an appointment with a homeowner and obtaining the selected deal what is the most important thing when you do it the most important thing is that you keep your foot straight and have a really strong mindset. Yes, that's what is important. You, you're the one making the payday, and that's the way you need to do it. When you're talking to someone, you got to forget about the outcome. And we talked about that already today uh, at the beginning. So that video will help you learn what you have to say and what you don't have to say. Basically, what you do when you talk to people and you're learning in this, is to try to keep it at the very basic. That video is gonna show you, and I have, of course, a new video on how to do in that. So we're gonna update that. This is a training that I gave probably a year ago. So we have that. But the most important thing is that you have video and you have a script. And where you're gonna have the script? Every videos are here. And of course, you go to training videos, And here you get how to be attractive, okay? I'm making an appointment. Now to make it better, you wanna go here to the training PDFs and go it in English. As you see, there's steps for success, really cool, okay? Again, you gotta fix that. <laughs> how to get appointments effectively, let's see if it's, yeah, it's not fixed yet. I gotta see why, but, there's a script, okay? There's a script and exactly, this is the one in Spanish, of course, and we have one in English. 
as I explained before, you never practice on stage, okay? So you learn a script on how exactly you're gonna to talk to homeowners. If you master this, you will make so many appointments, it doesn't matter how many days you've been in the business, okay? You could be as good as anyone here, me or, or, or Willie or William or, or Jonathan Brunasso, if you learn a script on how to talk to people, okay? It's very important. Do not try to do it on your own because the problem is that if you answer too many questions, you'll probably won't get to the appointment, okay? Mm -hmm.